Hey, what's up, my fancy beauties and bows? Boom shakalaka. We back up in here with another video for you today. And I have been wanting to try this particular product for a while now. I'm always looking for something that's going to hurry up and get me out the door. You guys know I'm always saying in my videos, I got to hurry up because I got to get to work. So... This product, I'm hoping it's going to save me some time, and if it's good, I'll pass it on to you so you can go get you some, so it can save you some time getting dressed and fancy as well. So, I'm speaking of Maybelline Tattoo Studio Eyebrow Product. So, it's supposed to last us for two days. I picked my color up in 257, which is a medium brown. So the color that is on this package, because I did open it, is pretty much the same color as the cap. And I'm going to assume that it's the same color as uh, the actual product. So you get the product, of course, and then you get the spoolie to help you blend everything out. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started cause guess what? I gotta hurry up and get out the door and get to work. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and begin by pushing up our existing brow hairs. And then we're gonna go in and this is what the um, applicator looks like. If I could put it right there. So you can see that and it's coming off a little uh, cool tone in my opinion. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to work for me. Um, hopefully it don't come off a little gray-ish. And we'll see if it's going to hold up on that area where there's no hair. If it does, we are in business. Alright, right off the bat, I feel like it's just kind of coating it. Uh, it's not gonna give you well, let me let me just let me just see first before I put my thoughts out there. Um, so I, it takes one to two minutes for this to dry down. So I'm gonna go off camera, finish everything up, my face, makeup, and all of that, and then I'll be back. Um, to let you see the final look of everything and then later I'll come back and give you my thoughts of how it wore and do transfer um, all that kind of jazz and we'll take it from there so give me a few minutes and I'll be right back oh sorry guys um, the spoolie I almost forgot but all you're going to do is just take the spoolie and just Put the product throughout your brow. Like so. Alright, so this time I will be back <laughs> with everything done. Alright, fancy beauties and bows. So I'm back and I have cleaned up everything around the eyebrow. What I did do is I went in with my normal um, eyeliners. 
and just made sure everything was on point the way I like it because I'm going to work. I want to test this product out when I'm not going to work so I can see really and truly how the product is going to uphold. So I think I'm going to do that in another video. I may try and do it in this one, but I'm, I kind of got a feeling it's going to have to be a separate video. So I will bring that one to you guys so you can really see the product in its true state. But for now, this is what we are working with, okay? So let me go ahead, get the rest of my face on, and I got to get out the door. So I will see you guys back here tonight around 10 o'clock-ish, hopefully before then. Just depends on how things go. So I will see you guys then, and don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will see you soon. All right, y'all, I'm back in. So it's actually only 8.30. I made it home early today, thanks to my wonderful sitter. So I was able to get back to you guys at a reasonable hour and still have some time with my grandson before I have to lay him down. So this is my completed face. Um, like I said, I think I got ready this morning and I think I finished everything about 10.30, somewhere around there. So yes, I have on my Super Stay foundation and it stayed all day. <laughs> she did not go home early, okay? So let's take a look and see what's gonna happen when we try to wipe off the Tattoo Studio product. So you guys know that the my pencil liner, that's gonna come right off. So we already know that. All right, so the product itself is staying on the hairs that are there already, so that's good. See if you can see it a little bit better on that one, right? So you can see it's still a bit pronounced there in some areas. Just gonna go back through one more time, see if we get anything else off. So there you go. And when I rub my finger across it, I can still feel the product is still there. And so I would say that it is going to stay the two days, maybe, maybe, maybe a day and a half. We'll say that. So what I experienced with this product when once I put it on and it actually set and it dried in place is when I went back in with the spoolie, either my normal spoolie or the spoolie they provide, doesn't really matter. I could feel the product would, would move, which is a good thing because that means it's adhering to the uh, hair that's on your that's in your brow so that's a good thing I'm not I don't have any problems with that I didn't have any transfer um, and of course I didn't I don't touch my face throughout the day like that especially in my brow area because I know I'm using 
smudgeable product, right? So that's why I said I want to test this product in its natural state, just so I can see what it's really going to do for us. But for right now, I really don't have a problem with the product. It's not going to give you that tattoo or that longevity that it's going to give to you on existing hairs in areas where you don't have any hair. Th does that make sense? So over here, especially on this side of my brow where it's really, really sparse, I don't have a tail at all basically on this side. So I don't expect that product to last you know for one or two days without it coming off you know what i mean because there's no hair there there's nothing there for it to adhere to so that's why i'm saying it's only it's a definer like it says it's a definer it's only going to um it's only going to give you enhancement where you have something there where there's hair there is the best way that I can put it so if you have hair throughout your brow this will be a good product for you if you're like someone like myself and you have sparse hairs it's not gonna give you that two-day adherence that you're looking for so that those are my thoughts that's my experience with this product it was ten dollars at my local walmart so it has different colors that you can get it in it's in blonde it's in this color here and it's also in a i want to say a deep brown if i'm not mistaken so i think three colors is all that i saw in this particular uh, product so there it is guys that's all I have um, for this get it or or forget it um, portion of this video that's all I got if you've tried it and you liked it or you know you were thinking about it and then you did, after seeing this video you think you're gonna go ahead and get it once you do get it and you use it come back let me know on this video or any video how you like that this product i would be interested to know your experience as well so until next time fancy beauties and balls this your girl gina i'm checking out and as always i want you to stay fancy see you guys soon bye now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. <laughs>